Okay, greeting students. Now that we've completed the learning preference test and have an idea of what our writing processes are, we can now use that knowledge to learn how to exploit the writing process to make the, more, make, make the maximum use of our cognitive preferences and skills. Now before I begin with the first pre-writing technique, I want you to remember two general rules. The first one is that you should pick a writing process that is amenable or compatible with your thinking preference, whether it's right brain at this time or left brain at this time. Pick a technique that matches your preferences or makes you feel comfortable. And once you engage in that process, follow it through to the end and complete it until you're tired or the ideas start repeating themselves and you know you exhausted your personal knowledge of the subject and your feelings and your thoughts of the subject. And once you exhaust that first technique, switch over to a technique that's more amenable to the opposite side of the brain. That is, if you're a right brain person, you might start with a right brain technique, follow it through to the end, then switch over and use a left brain technique to round out your thinking in order to in minimize the risk are the weaknesses of relying solely upon one type of thinking style. But you obviously want to use both halves of the brain or a whole brain approach to the pre-writing process. Okay, greetings. Now, the first right brain type of pre-writing technique that I'm going to show you is free writing. And it means exactly what it implies. You write freely whatever comes to, to mind on your paper. That is, you write the first word that comes to the top off the top of your head, just write it down. Don't worry about grammar. Don't worry about spelling. Punctuation, cross that out. Don't worry about mechanics. And don't worry about editing. Just write whatever comes to mind off the top of your head. Generally, a lot of professional writers do use this technique. They get up early in the morning, to say about 4 or 5 a.m., when the left brain is pretty weak and it's functioning, and the right side is operating at near a peak. And they get up and they early in the morning without breakfast, without anything, and write for a few hours until later in the morning when the left brain starts to kick in. I'd say around 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. to get ready for the 9 to 5 work day. But in general, in free writing, you just write whatever comes off the top of your head. Don't worry about grammar, spelling, punctuation, mechanics, or editing. There's no need to do that. Just write on your pad whatever you feel like writing. It doesn't matter if the idea is good or not, or if the idea is bad, or if it's junk. Just write down, I'm writing a lot of junk. To clear your mind so better ideas can come along. Now, if you're typing on the keyboard, it's a good idea to get a sheet of paper and cover your monitor with a sheet of paper. Just tape something over your monitor so you cannot see what you are typing. Because if you're using Microsoft Word, it tends to have a spell check and a grammar check that underlines errors that you make in spelling in red or spelling in grammar in blue. I mean in green instead of blue. And editing is primarily a left brain function. This is a right brain technique useful for beginning a paper. And you don't really want to bother with this stuff, which is more highly right, left brain types of thinking and techniques. You just want to generate a draft of ideas, get it on paper, spill it out and get it on the paper so you can move to the next stage. So go ahead and get your writing instrument where it's a word processing program 
or if you're like me, a pad and paper and get ready to begin. Okay, now we're going to start on a free write. There's a few more notes I need to cover before we begin. Now usually, look at this graph, the vertical vertical line indicates your energy level during writing. The horizontal line or axis indicates time. When you start writing, just moving your hand on the paper, thinking whatever thoughts you wish, writing down your first thought. What the mechanical activity of the hand does, and arm, the hand and arm the muscles and the mind in conjunction do during the writing process is distract the left brain, which usually dominates our day-to-day -day activity, helps us economize our effort and our thought, and controls many of the day-to-day -day activities we engage in. But for begin but for beginning a paper or beginning a thought process is not a type, it's not what you want to control your writing process or thinking process because if you have a high if you have a if you have a heavy reliance upon left brain activities it could make you prone to writing blocks or other types of difficulties. So we want to distract the left brain initially at this stage. So when you start writing and moving your hand across the paper, it will the mechanical activity of the arm and the hand will preoccupy the left brain, and also the random thoughts that you will write down will preoccupy the left brain, which will, will not be able to coherently understand it. And it will give the right brain, which is usually more imaginative and is more submissive than the left brain, a chance to generate an idea. And when the left, right brain, I mean, generates this idea, somehow in the brain it will signal the release of some hormone either by the pituitary gland or by the adrenal gland but you will but regardless of where that hormone comes from you will feel a surge of energy in your bloodstream when the right brain is free to generate an idea and you'll feel a surge of energy as you write when that idea comes and what you should do is you should just continue writing the first idea off of your head where it's worthless or it's good, or whether you don't know anything about it, just keep writing it out, random thoughts. The first word is always the right word. I'm not going to look at it closely anyway. So you can write whatever you want. But write whatever comes to mind. Feel that surge of energy or hormone enter your bloodstream. And write as long as you feel that wave of energy rising through you. If you feel disoriented during this part of the process, that's normal. If you feel thoughts racing through your head far too fast for you to keep up with, that's normal. That's what the technique is intended to do. And unleashes conscious inhibitions that are usually associated with left brain thinking. It frees you from them and gives you the chance to generate ideas. And you want to keep riding that wave of hormone or energy as long as it lasts. And eventually, after a few minutes, when maybe the, when you run out of ideas or the idea runs itself out, and you start feeling your energy subside, that's usually indicated that the left brain is getting tired of taking a submissive role in the process and wants to reassert its dominance over the right side of the brain. At that time, you'll probably hear subconscious messages like from the left brain that is that you're tired, that maybe you can put this off and do it later, you know, or maybe you've done enough writing for about five minutes, you know, or maybe even you're just wasting your time, or this process is a whole lot of crap and you could be better doing something else, you know. Those are several types of left brain messages which I'll call left brain resistance. When you feel that resistance, that urge to quit, or that, to feel tired, or to put it off, or to do something else, what you need to do is you need to resubdue the left brain. 
and you can do this by writing faster, simply moving your hand across the paper faster, hitting, typing the keyboard, typing your words faster. And the mechanical, act, mechanical activity of the hands will simply distract the left brain. And if you continue to type faster through this resistance, eventually it will subdue the left side of the brain enough to give the right brain some more freedom to spark another idea trigger a new release of hormone into your bloodstream and trigger a new wave of energy and of ideas and then you just to write as fast as you can to exploit the ideas flowing through your flowing through your uh, bloodstream or flowing from your mind like water from a faucet right as long as the thoughts are racing through you because eventually after a few minutes you will get tired or feel like you may start repeating yourself and you'll start feeling some more left brain resistance like, oh, I've done enough. Why can't I just put this off? Why can't I go home and have dinner or something? But when you feel the left brain resistance again, again, move your hand faster, write faster, distract the left brain again. That should free your right brain enough Give your right, right brain enough leeway and freedom to spark another idea and continue the process. But this is what a lot of writers do. They get up early in the morning. They start free writing until they get tired. And then they move fast, move their hands faster to distract the left brain tr and trigger another wave after wave after wave of random thoughts, which usually gives them good material to write their stories or their essays or the plays, or the dramas from. So, what I'd like you to do, you know, is to go ahead, get a timer and start. I'm going to give you 10 minutes to go ahead and free write on your paper. Just go ahead and write what comes off the top of your head. Where it's logical or illogical, where it's good or bad, please go ahead and write. Go ahead and begin. 